In this video, we're going to take a look at the process for setting up a TP-Link smart Wi-Fi LED light bulb. For the video, we worked with an LB130 smart bulb, but the same setup process will apply to all models of LED smart bulbs in TP-Link's LB100 range of products. The contents of the packaging consists of a quick start guide, details for contacting technical support, a bayonet adapter, and the smart bulb. You can identify which TP-Link Wi-Fi LED light bulb you have from the colour band around the lower part of the bulb. TP-Link offer the LB120, LB110 and LB100 which are light bulbs that are able to dim and or monitor energy usage. This light bulb here is the LB130 which is a colour changeable light bulb. All TP-Link Wi-Fi bulbs are screw bulbs, but if your lamp uses a bayonet connector, all models of TP-Link smart bulbs come with a bayonet adapter. Let's connect the bulb to a lamp and switch on the lamp. When you first switch on your bulb, it will initially flash on and off three times. This is to inform you that the bulb is in discovery mode and is ready to be set up. In order to set up your smart bulb, you need to download the CASA app for Android or iOS. While you can use the CASA app as a guest, we recommend that you create a user account with TP-Link. This is so that you can fully integrate your smart bulb with other smart devices such as Amazon's Alexa range of products. As we've already done these things and the smart bulb is switched on, let's get started by first connecting the iPad wirelessly to the TP-Link smart bulb. We first need to open settings, then Wi-Fi, to display the wireless access point that this iPad is currently connected to, and see a list of wireless access points that we could join. At the time when we recorded this video, the iPad was not automatically displaying alternative networks that we could join, so by selecting other, then choosing cancel, we could force the iPad to search for alternative wireless networks. When a list of the wireless networks within range of the iPad are displayed, we need to connect to the network starting with the name TP-Link Smart Bulb. We can now return to the home screen and open the CASA app. As we have no devices set up in the CASA app, we are shown this screen. Selecting the add symbol in the top right hand corner allows us to choose which device we wish to add to the CASA app. In this case, we're going to choose the smart bulb LB100 series icon. We are now taken through a setup wizard. As we've already switched on the smart bulb, we can select next. Again, as we've already switched on the smart bulb and we've seen it blink three times, we can select next. The next stage would normally be to connect the iPad to the smart bulb. But as the iPad has already been connected to the smart bulb, the CASA app jumps to the next stage. With the iPad now connected to the smart bulb, we can give the bulb a name to make it easier to identify. For now, as I do not have any other smart devices, I will leave this bulb with the default name, My Smart Bulb. We can now choose an icon for our smart bulb. I will use the default bulb icon for now. The final step is to provide the details for the wireless network that you would like the smart bulb to join. If the network displayed here is not the network that you want the smart bulb to join, select I'd like to use a different network. This will display a list of all the wireless networks that the device you are working from can see. Let's select My Doodad's Wi-Fi. We now need to enter the password for the wireless access point we wish to connect the smart bulb to. Once we've done this, we can then select Next. When we're notified that the process is done, we can try out our new smart bulb. As the lamp is currently switched on, let's try and turn off the bulb via the CASA app. If we select the power switch icon, the lamp will switch itself off wirelessly. If we now select the power switch on the CASA app for a second time, the lamp will switch back on. So to recap, 
In this video, we've taken a look at what comes in the box when you purchase a TP-Link Smart LED Bulb, how to set up that Smart Bulb in the CASA app, and then demonstrated how a light can be wirelessly controlled through the CASA app.